Um, I started CrossFit in 2009. I was getting my undergrad in exercise science at Tennessee Tech. And uh, one of my professors was the head strength coach. And uh, he would show us videos in class. And I was, got kind of interested in it. started watching videos of Chris. Because at the time, Chris was uh, doing a lot of the videos. So I guess you could kind of say you kind of got me to it. But, uh, <laughs> um, so I started doing the videos, and, or watching the videos, and trying some of the workouts. And then uh, in 2009, in June, I got my level one cert, and then uh, the rest is history, I guess. Awesome, Annie? Uh, well, same year, 2009. Um, I was doing gymnastics. That's kind of my background, and I grew up with gymnastics. But I quit gymnastics, and I kind of I was looking for something to come instead of that. Like in gymnastics, you train a lot, and you're always at the gym and it's really competitive. I kind of needed something competitive as a next step and I couldn't really find it out there. It's hard to find like a sport when you quit your own sport at that age, it's kind of hard to find something that you can really compete in. So I started signing up for all these different competitions in Iceland and a friend of mine signed me up for a CrossFit competition. I was like, sure, why not? And I competed 2009 in my first CrossFit competition. I won that competition and got a spot at the games. It was like a wild card for Iceland, so I got a spot at the CrossFit Games and had about two months to get really into CrossFit and competed at the games, and I just completely fell in love with it. I couldn't really stop after that. Awesome, and then uh, I think the other question that uh, uh, most of us would like to hear is, um, like you talked about earlier, I think it's easy for us to associate games with athletes or the CrossFit with athletes and CrossFit with the games, but a lot of times people are intimidated by what they see on TV. You guys, if you're not familiar with CrossFit, you'll walk downstairs and probably be a little scared when you see the gym. Although most of us look at it as a playground, we love it. And uh, if you guys were to look at a beginner, someone's like, ah, I don't think I can do it. What would you tell someone that's looking to start CrossFit but it's kind of in that boat where uh, it may not be for me just because I'm not fit enough yet? Um, first of all, you know, if, if once you see any of the videos or anything like that, the big thing that people tell you is CrossFit's infinitely scalable. Um, I worked at a gym, or still work at a gym, and we have uh, 13, 14 year old kids working out with 66 year old women. Um, maybe not doing the same exact workout, you scale the movement, scale um, the reps, or whatever you need to do, but um, you, there's nothing like it, you know. Other people supporting, supporting you if you're the last one to finish, um, and it doesn't really matter, you know, because a lot of people get intimidated by the whole competition thing. Uh, but you're, com you're competing with yourself more than you're competing with everybody else, and everybody's just so supportive. And like Chris said, the community aspect of CrossFit, I think, is what, what drives what we do. Well, you kind of stole like the perfect answer. <laughs> but, like, to add to that, like, my mom, she was really scared to start CrossFit. When I was into it, I was like, really, you just need to try it. And I got her, I dragged her to the gym, and that was a huge step to stepping into the gym because she knew what I was doing. She was like, I can't do that stuff. But as you said, you can scale everything in CrossFit. And after her first workout, she was like, that was so much fun because she thought she would never be able to do a box jump. We just found a lower box and she jumped onto that. And then as we grew into that same session, she was starting to jump on a higher and higher one. And she was like, she was doing stuff that she never thought she would be able to do. And you're kind of, in the gym, like you said, you're not really competing with other people, you're competing with yourself, and you're constantly challenging yourself, and you're constantly achieving some new accomplishments, which is so rewarding. And just seeing a person there that has a goal to get their first pull-up, for example, like, it could take time, but to see it and that feeling when you get your very first pull-up, that's one of the most amazing things, I would say. Excellent. So uh, I think if actually mom was smiling back there, I think she's fully in agreement. Is that so? Yeah, she's still smiling. Yeah. Annie, for all. Uh, then I think if, if you don't have anything else, I think we're going to give it over to Nate. We're gonna